Welcome back to the factor. The 4th of July can be a very stressful night for animals. There are ways you can help your pets get through that very noisy night. The Houston SPA has some very valuable advice for all pet owners out there. Dr. Westbrook, welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. Obviously, we're concerned about our pets, our dogs specifically during the 4th of July celebration. Obviously, in the city limits, you shouldn't be popping fireworks, but we know people will break the rules all the time. So in order to keep our dogs, our pets calm during the explosions or the, the firecrackers and all that, what would you suggest to an owner out there? So I know we want to include our dogs in all of the festivities this 4th of July, but I would say unless you know your dog well enough to know that he or she is very comfortable around loud noises and crowds, I would actually advise not to take them to the fireworks displays. The reason being is it can be quite overwhelming and frightening for some dogs. And when dogs get overwhelmed and frightened, sometimes it can turn dangerous. They may try to escape or run away, or they could potentially do things to harm themselves or other people, like become aggressive just because of fear. So I would say tip number one, unless you know that your pet is very comfortable around loud noises and fireworks, consider leaving them home or with a friend or family member who's staying home. And in order to keep them safe at home, if you aren't sure that they are comfortable with the loud noises, you may want to consider having a crate. So if you have a crate, something like we have here, something that will allow your dog to be able to lie down comfortably, rest comfortably, and be secure during the fireworks display, this might be something that's appropriate. And in this crate, you can give them things to make them very comfortable. So this is where you want to offer them treats, toys, you can even play music in the background that might be able to drown out the fireworks display. So some calming music or music that is approved for calming pets that you can find on YouTube. And so that's actually what I would recommend. Never, never let your dogs ingest fireworks, hold the fireworks in their mouths or do any of that. It's shocking how often we will see dogs that come into emergency hospitals because they've sustained burns to their oral cavity, because they have been biting at the fireworks once they're popping. It can cause severe wow. burns to the oral cavity. They can have a really difficult uh, difficulty and sometimes it can be life-threatening. Now, also, it's not just the sound for animals. It also can be the smell as well, right? Of those fireworks that are going off. Absolutely. If they're in an area where there's a lot of fireworks, certainly the smoke can be irritating to the mucous membranes as well. And, and yes, the fire can get into the mucous membranes, the eyes, and cause lots of damage. So something else that you can do if you're concerned about how your pet will be handling the, the fireworks is talk to your family veterinarian about giving your pet some prescription medication that might keep your pet calm during this time period. There are options so that your pet can be comfortable during this time period and we can minimize any complications. No, I haven't owned a dog in years, but I think it may be called a thunder jacket or oh, yes. am I getting close with that? Is that useful at this time? It is, you are close, it's called a thunder shirt. And thunder, so thunder shirt, there we go. <laughs> it is like a tight fitting shirt that actually provides a, like a nice comfortable hug for your pet. And so it actually makes them feel a little bit more secure and sometimes it can induce endorphins and calming um, neurotransmitters in the body to help them stay calm. So that's actually another thing. I, I do want to focus on something else that's common in the 4th of July and that's making sure your pet stays away from human foods that we're gonna wanna share with them. But I advise pet parents to steer clear from offering your pet things like ribs or sausage or uh, bones or barbecue, things that you might be cooking on the 4th of July that you may be wanting to give your pet, because they're gonna give you those puppy dog eyes. I mean, they are gonna look at you with the cutest little face and they're gonna sit and they're gonna shake and they're gonna do all the tricks thinking that you're gonna give them some sort of a bone. I would advise against that, but you can give them a treat that is good for dogs. So consider if you're wanting to give your dog a treat, instead of giving them human food, consider giving them maybe a canned food. So maybe a canned form 
of whatever dog food brand that they typically eat. This will actually give them a treat and cut down on any side effects like vomiting or diarrhea from the human foods. We also don't want to give them any um, alcohol so pets can get into alcohol. Keep that away from your pets um, and keep them away from things like chocolate and other sweets. This can cause a lot of stomach upset for, for those animals on that day. Dr. Westbrook from the Houston SPCA, thank you for the wonderful advice as usual.